What's going on guys, Ozio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Premium Footies Dembele card to review. A card that is a 99 overall, with 99 pace, 99 dribbling, 96 shooting, 94 passing, and 79 physicals. He is a 5 foot 10 player, with high medium work rates, left footed, 5 star skill moves, and a 5 star weak foot. The chem style, Marksman. Marksman is definitely the way to go because you're giving this guy 99 finishing, with 99 long shots and 99 penalties while also maxing out his reactions and while also giving him plus 10 to strength as well so i definitely feel like marksman is the way pace 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed you can't get better but that pace is the exact same pace as his foot fantasy card that card also has got 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed his shooting stats look insane 97 attack and positioning, 99 finishing, 99 shot power, 99 long shots, 94 volleys with 99 penalties. And now he has got the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait as well. They actually removed his injury prone trait. The passing stats look beautiful. Dribbling stats, look at them. You know, just, just take a second and look at them. Look how good they look. I'm expecting Dembele to feel insane on the ball. And his physicals, 91 jumping, 96 stamina. 82 strength with 75 aggression as well. I feel like Dembele definitely will be a player that gets put, like pushed to a side by a, someone like someone like Varane, let's say. But the thing about Dembele and the thing about like a player like Neymar is yes, they haven't got the greatest of physicals, but because they move so well, they can get away from that contact contact situation. Now the links French. And he is a premium footies. You guys know premium footies get a strong link with everyone in their league. So he gets a strong link, or sorry, a hyperlink with Ferland Mendy. He gets a hyperlink with Griezmann. He gets a nice little strong link as well to someone like Ben Yedder, even though Ben Yedder's not from the same league. Because he's French and because he is a premium footies, you get a strong link there as well. So yeah, the links are simply insane. Now, when it comes down to positions, one position. I'm going to be playing this card in a striker position and a striker position only. I feel like playing him down the line, obviously, is going to be amazing. But if you're paying that much for the SBC, I feel like you're playing him in a striker position and a striker position only. So let's get into the games and let's see how good premium footies Dembele is going to be. Dembele, you're going to make that run? Yes, you are. Nice little touch. Go on. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay, yeah. Near post. It has to go in. It has to go in. He thought I was going to go for that cutback. You see how he like fully committed to the cutback as well. What a shot towards the near post. I did green time it, but the power carried it into the back of the net. Let's go for a quick dummy. Go on, Dembele. That's beautiful. Round for round. Once again, we're going to go for it. Green time, finesse shot, and it ends up hitting the crossbar. That acceleration he has got, just to go through those spaces, is crazy quick. Like, you see how quick he was to get past someone like someone like Varane? Like, we all know that is not an easy thing to do. And look at St. Maximum. Go for a quick ball roll. No way. Okay, we do get a little bit lucky. Cut into the inside. Green time finesse shot. Look at that. No dip at all. It was always rising into that top corner. Let's give that a cross into Kempembe. Nice pass into Yedda. Extra pass into Dembele. Good fake shot. He's waiting. Yeah, he's one of those patient defenders. Let's go near post. Nah, Cordova. He's second man pressing that the whole time as well. Good positioning though from Dembele. I like how he gave me that passing option. He wasn't aggressive there. He didn't make an irrelevant run. Dembele's not inside the box. I'm going to guess he is here. He is here. Hold on a second. Let's go for a reverse this time. Green times. Look at that. Look at the long shots on this card. That's a reverse finesse shot. And it flies in. I'm going to keep it going with Saint. Just keep it going. I don't know if he's going to expect. Give it across to Dembele. He's positioned himself really nicely. I like how, once again, he's not too aggressive there. He's not running himself offside. He's still giving me that passing option. Is Fio going to catch up? Go on, Dembele, get in front of him. Nah, Fio, the thing about Fio, right, he's also got 99 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. But he's got that physical presence to him. So once he does catch up to Dembele, yeah, you can use that strength to just push him off. Let's go for a switcher play here. I see Ribery open and that right there, yeah, is an insanely good pass. I need a pass into the inside now. And no one is giving me an option. There you go, Yedda. No, and then he goes behind Chiellini. Like, that pass was perfect. But then after that, not a single person gave me a passing option. Look at Dembele, though. Sitting there on the edge of the box, waiting for it. He's not controlling Chiellini. Let's go for this. Tight angle, green timed, and it goes right into the corner. Keeper, 
questionable positioning, I'll be honest, but still, we can't take anything away from the finish. Make that run, Griezmann. There you go. Let's go for an early cut in. Then Bele, nice little touch. No, the R1 dribble into the fake shot would have worked perfect there. And then all I needed to do was shoot it towards the near post, and it probably would have flew in. Is Dembele in the box? No. Yeah. No, 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 he's not. He's probably going to be on the edge. Yeah, there you go. Once again, on the edge of the box, wide open, green timed on that stronger foot. Keeper. He didn't even bother diving. Like, the keeper didn't even move pretty much. Like, he just watched it go in. I'm going to manual switch into him. Nice, good touch. Could go for another finesse shot, but I think we've seen plenty of those. Look at this. Like, the footwork, the left stick dribbling is incredible. You can honestly take all these little small touches and create an angle really quickly. And Bele, go on, make that run. There you go. Is Chiellini going to be able to... Oh, no, he's brought out a keeper. You shouldn't be bringing out a keeper in that situation. I thought Chiellini was going to be able to cut me off. So I was trying to like focus on Chiellini the whole time. Next thing you know, I see Donnarumma right next to me. There's so many players inside the box. I need to just go for a switch here into Mendy. Then I can give it back down into Yedda. In the gap to Saint. No, I didn't mean... I was meant to shot cancel. Hold on though. Dembele, go on. Okay. I was not expecting the score. I'll be honest. I tried to shot cancel with uh, with Saint Maximum and it just went completely wrong. But look at that. Where's the last go, Saint? There you go. Look at the acceleration from Saint as well. I need an option though. Look at Dembele. You see that movement? Reverse. No, if I could just get around Maldini there, we could have that shot across goal. The fact that the fact that Dembele came from the other striker position to give me that option is insane. Well, Yeda. Yedda wasn't even moving. I'm disappointed in Yedda there. There's a massive gap. It looks like Yedda's going to make that run into it. A pass across to Dembele. No. Okay, he still managed to put it into the back of the net. I honestly hate when it does that. I really do. It's so annoying because it looks like a simple pass. And then next thing you know, it the ball's going behind the player. But luckily, Dembele could turn his body quick enough and still slot it home. Go on, Kipembe. Hold him off. There you go. Just shield him off a little bit so I can give it into Dembele. Good fake shot. All roll scoop. Near post. I mistimed it. But it was still an okay shot. It's just I definitely do feel like if I green timed it and didn't mistime it, it's flying in right into the corner. I want to chip it into Yedda. Let's see if he's going to be able to win that header. I mean, at least he challenged. And the fact that he got onto that is kind of ridiculous. First time that. There you go. Dembele, nice touch. Good roulette. No, again, the power shot towards the near post. This Mandanda, what's happening right now? He's pulling out some nice saves. Like, I fool Mandanda being six foot one. You know, he's not going to be that keeper, but he's looking pretty good. Is that him on the edge again? It is. Dembele. How many finesse shots have we scored today? I have no idea, but why not add another one to the list? Do you see what I mean about his finesse shots? Like, I'm telling you guys, he's foot fantasy. When I used it, his finesse shots weren't this good. No way. This card's finesse shots, though, are a joke. They're flying in. Let's go for a back heel, maybe, into Kempembe. No, I thought Dembele was going to make a bit of movement going forward there, not actually go back into like a center mid roll it doesn't matter though because we still got the ball with him and he ends up in a crossbar there no way i thought that was gonna fly in as well he has missed a few chances today but i also do feel like in some of those chances that he's missed i could have personally done a little bit better so it is time to give my final thoughts on a card we ended up playing nine games with Dembele and we scored 10 goals in those nine games and we also came out with a single assist as well the first thing I want to speak about is his shooting ability because the shooting inside the box was good but it wasn't anything crazy he's shooting inside the box definitely isn't as good as someone like Yedders or Griezmann like these two they just place it into the corner with a ridiculous amount of power every single time. With Dembele, he did do that time to time, but then there was a lot of other opportunities that I feel like went a little bit too close to the keeper and allowed the keeper to save the chance. So yeah, the shooting inside the box is good, but nothing insane. The long shots though, wow. Like I have used his foot fancy recently. And I obviously tried out the long shots and stuff like that. And the long shots were good on the foot fancy. But not this good, you know, I mean, not this good. Like, the long shots on this card is disgusting. Just straight up disgusting. Like, it went top corner pretty much every single time. So, yeah, the shooting ability, definitely happy with it. It's just inside the box, it could have been a little bit better. The pace, 
crazy as expected. Passing ability, beautiful. Dribbling ability, love the left stick dribbling. Love the fact that the skill moves come off so quickly as well. The 180 turns are so, so smooth of him. He definitely does feel better than his foot fancy. But that's expected, right? Saying that he's got like a few plus fours and plus five stats. I'm pretty sure the foot fancy has got the exact same agility, right? Yeah, yeah. The foot fancy has got 99 agility. But yeah, look, stuff like the the balance has gone up by plus six. Stuff like uh, reactions gone up by plus six as well. Ball control plus four and composure plus five. And that is definitely something you can notice in game. The physicals. He hasn't got a lot of strength through his game. So I wasn't really expecting him to be that kind of player to get himself into a lot of shoulder to shoulder situations. But the thing is, right, every time I did get him into it, he did get pushed off the ball, especially when you're matching up against like Footy's Varane. Yeah, Varane is going to go up to Dembele and just completely push him to a side. But this is the thing, right? Because of how good his dribbling ability is, you can try to avoid those situations because, you know, you can just put out like a quick ball roll scoop. Next thing you know, you're around the player. So yeah, the physicals ain't that crazy, but that's expected. The price, 1.5 million coins. This is the thing, right? 1.5... Oh, no, sorry. I just refreshed 1.3 million coins. So it looks like Fodder might have gone down a little bit. So yeah, 1.3 mil isn't bad pricing at all. I don't think that's... It's hard to say. Like, it's expensive. Is it overpriced? It's hard to say, isn't it? It is hard to say. Like, he is an insane, insane card. And 1.3 mil really isn't too bad. It's just... He isn't in SBCs for a long time. He's only in SBCs for six days. So it's not like a it's not like a card that you can take your time with. Like with Neymar, he's in SBCs for like 26 days. You know, you can take your time with it. You can even be patient patient enough till uh maybe the 85 plus times 10 becomes repeatable. With this Dembele card, you probably can't wait because I don't see them being I don't see them uh throwing the 85 plus times 10 repeatable tomorrow. I don't see it happening. So yeah, it's a card that you definitely do kind of have to rush into. You can't really take your time with it. 1.3 mil is a lot. But I do believe it's worth it. Like I do. Like with how his long shots are and how his pace and, you know, dribbling, passing. And yeah, his physicals aren't like insane, but they are good enough. You know, it's not like you're sitting there with a sane maximum with that 99 strength with the right chem style. No, but the thing is, right, he does feel way better on the ball than say maximum that's what you have to keep in mind so yeah 1.3 mil i do believe he's worth it i do believe he's the best winger and striker in the la liga like he's but this card is better than Vinny, team of the season he is better than Bale. i guess it kind of depends on the play style of bail right because if you cross more then Bale's going to fit your play style a little bit better but like for me personally i'm taking this card over Bale in the striker position obviously take him over like benzema i'll take him over marcelo as well shapeshifter i'll take him over griezmann as i said griezmann has got a better shooting ability inside the box but then Bele feels way way better on the ball see i do believe he's the best striker in the la liga and i do believe he is the best winger in the la liga as well like you have to keep in mind it is dembele at the end of the day he's always going to be expensive right so yeah 1.3 mil isn't too bad pricing where does he go in the attackers tier list 100 he goes into the s tier i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace